About 20 years ago, Paul built the 10-meter theory of trimaran, which he sold about eight years ago to buy the catamaran that we currently own. It was a very difficult moment. Deep inside of him, he was hoping that maybe one day we can buy it back. A few months ago, a friend of ours who was sailing through Barm Heads saw his trimaran, took the picture, sent it to Paul and said, well, apparently your trimaran is still there and it hasn't been much used recently. In this video, we set on the mission to find his trimaran and get in touch with the owner. What do you want to get it back for, George? I know, I just want it. He's just wanting to get it back for days okay. in anticipation. Windy today, blowing about 20 knots. <laughs> Papa, did you see that? Your shirt has three big holes. Yep, it's only 20 years old. <laughs> well, at least you can scratch your back. <laughs> Or the sizing of your baby. How you feel? Oh, I hope they've looked after it. Let me see now. Could do us a heart attack. Oh, oh geez, they've got the new sail back. New sail back. The furla. So you must use it, Papa. They must use it. It must be in good hands. Oh my god, look at that! Been repainted. Okay. It hasn't been repainted. No. Oh, there you go. Is it the same engine? Can you imagine us to sail all this way we did on this trimaran and not on our catamaran? Honestly, I can't. <laughs> yeah, this is what I've been looking at. Yeah. It's got self tailor winches on it. I changed all the winches out. Bigger winches on. Well guys, this is what this guy built, this bar, and this guy wants to buy this thing back. <laughs> I want it back. I'm easy. We yeah, want it back. <laughs> back. We yeah, want to buy it back, Chica. Oh yeah, I wouldn't mind. Like if you want to go somewhere sailing, like for a week or two, that would be nice. If we have a house, because I'll feel much more comfortable in this one than in the sailing dinghy. <laughs> 
Apparently the guy who I signed up to still owns the boat. Yeah. He walks past here every day about this time. <laughs> Georgie here because he loves dogs. Apparently he's got this fluffy brown mushroom dog. Poodle. And we're gonna set a trap with George. I can't see him yet. You never know. You never know. I'm gonna set a booby trap here with <laughs> for him. I leave my son if he loves. I don't want it. You want it? Me and Mum can tail it. Yeah. Can tail your you can dingy. That's right, we'll be just next to you darling, we'll be a support team, yeah. we'll be a fridge. Papa. You can come and have your meals aboard. Yeah. Papa, you, if you want you can like sleep on our boat, on the train. There's three beds on it so. Yeah. I, I'm gonna, and, and that, after that tube I don't have to do my school, I sneak up the tube. Plus it's gonna be my boat. Yeah. My boat, so I can do whatever I want on. But we found out that apparently the first person, that the person to whom Paul sold his boat, didn't sell it further. He kept it. And because we talked to some local people here and they said, yeah, the name of the person who owns that try is Mark. And it, and it was exactly the person who bought it from Paul. So, and he doesn't use it, they said at all so now it's low tide we came to check it out and they also said that this mark walks his dog every day and we've been sitting there for an hour waiting for him but uh he he's probably gone on holidays so we just came here to check on the boat which is standing now high and dry this is where the cabin is george there you can go through there or you can just climb onto the stairs. Can you lift me up? Yep. Oh, I want to have a look. There's a couple of dings in front. Yeah, you can fix those up. Me and Pablo will fix those up for you. Pretty easy. You want to go and check the things out, Pablo? Me and you can fix that up for you. How do you reckon, darling? Is it in a good condition? Kiss and cut, Papa. If we kiss and cut. Uh, I'm gonna give it a kiss and cut. Needs a good paint job. Yeah. Well, that's easy to do, isn't it? Uh, We've walked up and down the main road here a few times. Asking various people about if they know who owns the trimaran. And mum actually asked these people and figured and it out. It was low tide now, so we went back down to the trimaran and there was quite a few things in someone it. seen us walking around and checking it out. And we came up to the post office, which apparently he comes up and visits every day. And lo and behold, my wife asks these people who were looking at us, looking at the trimaran, if they knew Mark Benick. Benick. And apparently they do. So now they've just told us where he lives. And gave us his phone number, and you know what? We had I his had phone his number. Whole the whole number time. on my phone. So we're off down now to go and knock on his door and see if he's home. We'll let you know. The whole oh yeah, <laughs> all over the place. <laughs> I can tell you, the most interesting in all this story, it just I have his phone number all this time yeah, in my phone. Number, number, number. But I've got like 400 phone numbers in my phone because I moved countries, I moved, I changed phones, and it was just the, the name Mark. <laughs> Who knows which Mark? But anyway, this guy gave us a phone number, and it just came up when I dialed up. 
on my phone as Mark. That's the sign of the destiny. And you know what's most interesting thing is to... Oh look, he's here! Quick, we found him! Hmm? Oh no, that's the other guy. Well, I can see the poodle. Oh no, it's the same guy. <laughs> it's the same guy! <laughs> So funny, there's this guy who owns the dog that Mark is supposed to own. <laughs> this mushroom color poodle. <laughs> We've seen him again. Like, hey, Mark! Nope, I'm not Mark. I hope Patrick and Axel and Darian are watching this video because we are real adventure agents. I'm That's really, right. And I'm really interested in your DB Cooper stuff too. Even though I know you're just tricking the whole thing, it's pretty cool too. Still. That's one excited rabbit. Right? So it's just this one. Yeah. Right here on the wall, right? Yeah. It's Mark! It's Mark! I've seen it, yeah, I've been walking around there and I caught up with your wife Lee there, we've been up. Come here, there's yeah, someone in the camper. In town who owns the boat. Yeah, we thought we'd catch up and we've got our boat up for sale. Yeah. So we, we just sailed up the um we just sailed up the magnetic island and we're on our way back and we've had it on the market for a while. 